So the, no uh, letters. Well, the first. We'll see later, but we don't do the pledge. Not unless it came since they. Yeah, we can do the pledge. So the last day for their own letters. Yeah. <clears throat> to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. I'll take my I guess I'll, I'll talk. Um, Hi. Hi, John. Hi. Hi, Elizabeth. Village of Washingtonville Planning Board meeting for April 29th, 2021. Um, our chairwoman has moved out of the jurisdiction um, and therefore will no longer be serving on the village planning board. Um, therefore, the first order of business would be for the board to elect a new chair that would then take over immediately and preside over this meeting. Any nominations? Volunteers? I mean, I have some experience. I was a clerk for planning and zoning in South Louisville for a few years, so okay. put that out there. I know what I do. <laughs> 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 right, so let's take a vote to elect Selena Roper as the chairwoman for the Washingtonville Planning Board. Well, let's take a vote first. <laughs> Obviously, well, you would abstain. Right. Aye. 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 Okay. Okay, congratulations, Selena. Thank you. Unanimous <laughs> with the record show. <laughs> so, welcome, everybody, to a regular meeting today, April 29th. And we did the pledge. So I just want, and she's not here, but I do want to thank Anna Lee for her commitment and service to the board. Um, I only got to serve with her in person for a few months, but um, she did a great job. And I think we all learned whatever we could from her uh, when she was here. So unfortunately, she's not here to hear it, but I wanted to thank her. Um, so um, we have our applicant here from Orange County Bagel. Do you want to start? Yeah. Good evening. My name is Ryan Fellinger, Fellinger Engineering. I will be in it as Mark Fellinger, Fellinger Engineering, and the co-applicants and co-owners, uh, Mr. Brent Kunis and Mr. Walter Thomas. Uh, the project is uh, Orange County Bagel Site Plan at 32 West Main Street. Um, the application consists of a proposed build, uh, commercial building, single story, uh, 5,400 square feet. It will be comprised of three different units. One will be uh, Orange County Bagel, uh, each 1,800 square feet, and the other two would be um, rented out for uh, office use. Uh, one will also be a chiropractor uh, uh, office. Uh, the site at 32 West Main Street is our, plan, is our site plan here on uh, C101, which we have supplied for the board. Uh, the plan is to have Old Betty's Diner to be demoed that was severely damaged in a fire. Um, so that building will come down and this will replace that building. Uh, we have provided parking for the uh, customers to use. Um, we are seeking variances, as you know, with the ZBA for uh, using six spaces across the street in this whole lot, um, which we did receive a uh, variance for previously. Uh, we have additional parking in the back. And we are also going to be implementing a uh, forest paving in the uh, town uh, zone of the for uh, purpose percentage on the lot. That's a good um, We did have a couple of things we needed to do in terms of seeker at the last meeting. We were going to su submit to uh, the State Historic Preservation Office, which we did make an inquiry with them. They are currently reviewing the project. Uh, we request a letter of no effect, so once we receive that, I'll submit that to all. Um, uh, we also reached out to the DOT regarding the crosswalk, which they neglected to comment. Um, I did speak to city at the, the, rest, or the um, Newburgh office, or local office, and although she, she did say that the, the spot for the crosswalk is not ideal, she was going to defer to the uh, regional office uh, at traffic and safety, and they also uh, declined to so we do feel that a crosswalk here is not warranted, it's not necessary um, in this particular location. There's no cross, a sidewalk across the street uh, to uh, connect to. Um, there's also no curb cut on our side of the street. So to uh, put a crosswalk in would be a very large undertaking. Uh, 
Uh, we received uh, Mr. Petrucini's comments at the last meeting, and we also responded to those uh, itemized uh, comments. And uh, look forward to any comments, questions, concerns that the board has on the updated plan. I wanted to comment on one was to uh, touch upon the uh, crosswalk uh, situation with the DOT. Mm -hmm. Is that a final determination by them, or we're still waiting to hear back from them on any or any other department from that? They refused to comment unless the village was going to come forth with a uh, permit, an application, construction, highway work permit. Uh, typically, they don't comment unless there's a, a some formal uh, application for that. Um, I tried to to get it out of them, but they would uh, give me a response on that, which is typically in our um, experience that. Okay, I took a ride through there the other day. There's, I believe, five crosswalks in place for the schools School. to come across. So I'm thinking that something like that is, is perfectly adequate for this, but what, there's no traffic lights. I don't think there's any curb cuts for those. Or right. just that, that's correct. There's lines and a couple of signs. And, right. And they're, they're refusing to comment even on that style, or you, or you ask them for a, like a more elaborate setup. No, we asked them for a, a, a typical crosswalk, which does, you know, require to have um, ADA compliant uh, drop curbs on either side. They, they are aware that there's no uh, sidewalk or uh, on the municipal lot side, and as well that there's no curb cut on uh, Orange County Bagel side. And they did mention that typically they require those crosswalks at intersections. Um, so I explained it to them uh, in a detailed message. They have to send them a copy of the plan as well. And so they uh, did not make a determination on whether it, they wanted one. So I, I'm not sure the formal, I think I'd like the village to make a formal application and get a denial from the DOT if they're not going to do it, just so we cover all the bases. Is that the right thing? Mm -hmm. right, we, do that? Uh, we could. That would be done separate from this application. If that's true. And you could recommend to the village board that they pursue that. You as the planning board can't actually file that application. We can't file Cannot. it? Cannot. Cannot, okay. So it has to be the village. Okay. Um, and I, I will say this, I don't think we should let this hold up the project. Right? But I would like to see it happen. Okay. So I just, then again, even if it's just the DOC saying no, we're not going to do it. Um, we try. I appreciate the comment and the concern, but that will be the response. Second thing is the uh, 20 by 30 patio. I do believe that we should allow some parking consideration for that. And of course, use of the municipal lot would be you know, acceptable as far as I'm concerned. But I think we, that should be in the calculation that we're accounting for that uh, and allow some parking for it. Uh, I believe we did discuss this at the last meeting and we had agreed that, or at least brought up the fact that it was only for seasonal use. Uh, it really wouldn't impact the parking if we were to include it in our parking calculation. In the square footage, it would increase the, the request, the variance that we need by about 15 spaces as opposed to six. Um, so really, the, the outdoor patio will not impact the parking. And I, I think the just the sheer size of the municipal lot across the street, we won't have any issue with the parking um, at all. Again, it's not something, it's a, it's a seasonal uh, type of uh, seating that's going to be used. There. It's not anticipated to be full 100% of the time year round. The, the concern is really your use. We all agree you're going to be fine. Mm -hmm. But when Brotherhood comes in next month and says we want a 2,000 square foot patio that we're going to use for seating, you didn't make Orange County Bagel count that in their parking gallows when are doing it either. I, I happen to know of another facility probably within three miles there that has had to remove their outdoor seating uh, in lieu of uh, threatened fines because it wasn't in their occupancy. So, I don't think it's I don't think see this whole the project, but I'd like to say, and again, it's part time, so instead of 15 spaces, we make it seven, put it in the municipal lot, and call it a day. And there, yeah, there are certain stipulations that we can include on the plan in terms of notations for uh, mitigation use, um, you know, seasonal use, uh, having, again, having uh, the employees of the lot park on the other side of the street. That will maintain 
Yeah, basically acknowledging that we're doing it and it's right. there and we're going to have after receiving more time right. and we're going to allow this space forward for closing. Can I just say one quick thing? What is it? 600 square foot? 20 by 30? Right. right. That's right. We could actually, if you want, we could suggest the plan because 20 by 30 is very, very big. Like in my other store, we have a, uh, it's basically 20 by 10, 200 square feet, which you can fit five, six tables in. 20, we could probably change that. I'm not that. asking you to change it. Yeah, let's do yeah, it. We'll, we'll change the parking number required for, as far as I'm concerned, if we can legally change the no. parking number to report. Yeah. It's by the code. It's, it's, like a, it's a bulk calculation. We can't, it's, okay. there's no discretion given to the planning board about how many parking spaces it's either we're going to require okay. um, spaces for the, pa the patio or, or not. I don't see any. Yeah, I actually might look myself at the code. I don't think there's anything for patios when no. it comes to parking. Because after proceeding, yes, I agree that's it. Yeah, they I mean, only that's calculate that's the actual building uh, square footage period. They don't calculate any uh, exterior. Well, that's as per the village code. Mm -hmm. So you said in theory, you know, someone could, as the village code stands right now, in theory, somebody could make a, you know. We just have to strictly go off what the code it's says, and the code doesn't have anything for it, and there's you know, potentially nothing we could do. I said, in theory, right now, for provision, brotherhood, or anybody can come and say, I want a two million square foot patio, and if the code says that there's no parking requirement for an outdoor patio, then they could do it, you know? If it's the board's stance that the parking calculation, as written in the village codes, if it's inclusive for patio area, then we would certainly consider it. That would have to be a, would that, that would be a ZBA determination if there's interpretation of the town code, if there is any interpretive measures anywhere? Well, the code is area available to patrons. Gotcha. Which to me says if you're going to have people sitting out there, the area is available to them. It just puts us in a position where we'd have to go back and ask for a different variance. It's no longer. Well, you have to go back. You have to go back to the ZBA anyway to get a final determination. Yes. Um, so. I mean, we could I'm ask them, so or we could, or we could eliminate it, the patio. Or, right? We could eliminate it and if say. If eliminated, then it wouldn't be space available. We'll deal with that sure. later. We'll get open, and we'll see if we want to do something. If we do, we we'll go back to the no. ZBA at that time and ask for a variance, and, or we can ask them if they deny or cut the number, we can adjust the square footage of the patio based on on that. We just we don't want to hold up the exact process. Well, assuming it doesn't really. slow anything down. Right. That's what you can go to the ZBA, just yes. ask them instead of six, we want yes. whatever function. because of this summer potentially higher period of time when there's more people coming for right. Whatever. You know, nice weather outdoor having a Practice. Yeah. In my opinion, that's what I'd like to see happen because I'd like to be sitting on the patio having a big one. Just, just, yeah. just to comment on that yeah. real quick, our, our time frame looks like hopefully we, I don't think we're going to be opening immediately when it's hot weather because of just the time frame. So, worst scenario for me is if I, if I have to build it the way it is, put it as grass, do it, and then go back and go back for, come to whatever I have to do with it, the planning board or whatever, and ask for a patio, I have no problem doing that and going to the ZBA doing whatever. I just, it's not worth it to me to slow down the project for the, for the four so tables out. So for another variance. It is a joint public hearing, so if we talk about it, right, that the, this, our public hearing will be joint. Um, I haven't, I haven't, I haven't. Well, um, that was, it was would the board have any objection to setting the public hearing and having it with the potential that they still have not received their variance for the extra few spaces? So they would have, we, would, we would have to we have to we have to hold our public hearing before we make any secret determinations and then they have to go back to the CBA. But the, right. what they're asking is whether or not we want to do a joint hearing with the ZBA. I don't I mean none of my other municipalities do it but that's what they had told us at the ZBA that they would um, consider I thought so. Yes, that was my that was understanding. I think that was I think that was the CBA attorney who had that idea, but to be honest with you, she we haven't we haven't touched base on that issue. So, just if you if you want my my recommendation to the board is this: in terms of the the crosswalk issue, if the board wants the applicant to to continue to pers to actually come up with a plan and permit application to the DOT, 
we can, you can do that if you find that right and you want to see that change on the plan. In addition, if you want to see the, if you want to include the outside area as a part of the parking calculations, and if they want to remove the outside area, both of those changes can be made immediate, you know what I mean, more or less immediately, and I would still say you could set the public hearing tonight, assuming they're going to make those changes ASAP, and then we can still get the, the publication out. I mean, I think we should set the public hearing, keep okay. us moving forward, and if something has to be made, like you said. Yeah, and so the thing is, we're also still waiting, we're still waiting for SHPO, or mm -hmm. did you get, yeah. Yep. Um, and we're still waiting, I guess, depending on what they decide, something more from DOT. Is DOT going to comment on this at all anymore? No, I'm like, no, unless, 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 unless the village us. applies, village, not us, the village would apply for well, a crosswalk. I, I do believe that if they if they find a crosswalk, if they would like you to pursue a crosswalk, then it would become part of their plan, and then wouldn't you be the applicant? I, I'm not sure about that because of the the other side. There's no sidewalk, and it's village property. And no breaking the curb. There's no breaking the curb. They, so they obviously would never approve a crosswalk to to nothing, right? So so it's going to end up, you know. Going down the road, it's going to end up a crosswalk. For whatever happens, it's going to end up the village spending money building a sidewalk All or a crosswalk on both sides with a drop curb. You know, and if the village isn't ready to take that on, certainly our applicants aren't willing to take that on. When the library was in front of the planning board, the mayor pursued that very strongly, and the DOT was not willing to. And generally, it. they don't like them. That's all. They like as few as possible. Right. Yeah. Keep track. So, keep it moving. If, if I could just make a comment, is there, I mean, it seems like it does not look favorable for that ever being approved. Can't we just kind of let sleeping dogs lie with that? Well, like, like, Unless you feel strongly that you really want that, that's a different story. You know, I, I appreciate, I would, I would respect that. Well, my, my opinion is that the crosswalk should be pursued and denied by the DOT. Mm -hmm. I'm fine with the village taking care of that mm -hmm. and getting okay. your That's plate. Fine. Okay. Okay. That'd be great. We'll we certainly you. be supportive of whatever information you yeah. need, drawings. Right. So my, my thinking yeah. is you guys made a reach out to them, went no place, fine, you did your effort. Now we'll make a recommendation to the village board to make a request to the DOT and we just that. That would be my opinion. I agree. Okay, okay. thank you. That works, thanks. That takes care of the crosswalk issue. Now, just a quick question. The parking calculation that's there now, yeah. has that been approved by the, the zoning board? Yeah, we, we were pre previously in front of the zoning board and we received the variance for the six extra spaces okay. that we originally had proposed. So if we wanted more spaces, we'd have to get that reapproved. It would be a reapproval. They, had, that's they have to go back anyway. It's not, it wasn't a final determination. The ZBA can't make a final determination until we're done with Secra. Okay. So they, if they go back, they can go back and, and make that change on the, on the variance. They, I guess, did they close your public hearing? They uh, shouldn't have. Originally, the very first round at ZBA. Yeah, that one I'm going to just put in the nullity because I feel like that one procedurally okay. was. We did. Did we have we did not have a public yeah. hearing at yeah. ZBA? We were told that we would be pursue a joint, joint public, public hearing, hearing to help uh, speed okay. the project. We didn't do a second public so, hearing. So, that's good. That's better for you because you're not going to have to re-notice anything with regards to a, a potentially new variance. <laughs> And again, new person question, the size in square footage or this number of seats is the calculation for the parking? It's based on the area available for patrons. So that's square footage. Square footage. Thank you. Okay. Um, anybody else on the board feel that we should pursue the, uh, the, the outdoor seating in the parking calculation or not? Just because I know that lot is oftentimes empty, so much that there's not going to be a Crosswalk, yes. I'm into the crosswalk. I think it's important, but independent from, from delaying, causing any delay, you know, discuss with the village board. But I'm not as concerned with the number of parking spots. You're not concerned with the number of parking spots because of the proximity to the municipal yeah. lot? Yes. That lot is rarely full. And then going in, I concerned there's the fact that I was aware of another another food establishment right. that, that has this issue that they're after seating. Um, and, and and to be fair to 
you know, we, and if we allow this or, or zone this or this way or look at it this way, does that set a precedence for other applicants down the road? So I just, I mean, I have a very easy suggestion. We'll get rid of the outdoor seating. We'll get rid of that on the plan. We don't have, we won't even talk about it. We won't even bring it up. And then I'll come back here in five or six months, file an application for outdoor seating, and you can make me do whatever I need to do to get it approved. This way you're happy on I'm going to go with whatever the board says. I'm not Can I just make a comment also? Just leave it alone and let it go. If, if you really think about it, we kind of have a very unique scenario. How many other businesses in the village are directly across the street from a municipal lot like that? Correct. So, but again, it's the, it's how can you really have that argument from it's another? It's not a question of the municipal lot. No, I understand, but he said many? another business may have a problem because they may ask for, for something similar to what we do, but we're in a well, scenario where any business argument? in the village, if they want outdoor seating, the village loses the ability to have them provide parking for that. Not necessarily the municipal lot, even on their lot. But isn't that municipal lot open to the whole village? It has nothing to do with the municipal lot. Okay. It's how many spots are required for your use, period. Regardless of whether they're on your property or the municipal. Nobody's arguing that the municipal provides enough. But p and Deli, if they want to open up their entire backyard, make it a patio, put tables out there, this would set a precedent that there's no additional parking for those extra 50 tables. That's what we're looking at. That's kind of where I'm, where I'm going with that situation. And, okay. and that's why. I got it. And, and with the, the proximity of the municipal parking lot, again, it's, it's there. And add the spots. I don't care if you fill the whole thing up. Just add the spots and call it a day. And that way we did our homework. We did everything right. And there, and, and it's done. And now it's for the future. It's gotcha. covered. That's, 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 that's where we're looking really at. Really, it's, I mean, it's picky, but. It's a matter of instead, instead of saying you're counting on six spots in a municipal lot, you're counting on nine or twelve or whatever it is. Well, we agree there's enough. Yeah, there's no chance it's not going to. In my opinion, I don't think it would be. You know, well, is there any way without removing the outdoor seating that we can do this joint GBA meeting and, and, and really ask them at that point? And then if there's a problem, we can pull the outside seating. Are you going back to them before the public hearing? Mm -hmm. It's going to be a joint meeting, hopefully. Right? So then that your next meeting yeah. is... It would hopefully be the joint meeting. Um, it was our understanding. <laughs> correct. It was our understanding that we would do whatever we need to do at planning board first. And then at the public hearing, it would be a joint session. And then, then we go back to the uh, right. But not for another public hearing. We go for a ZBA for a vote on the variances we've already still presented. Isn't that the same? Wouldn't that be the same? Just very. I thought we would do it together. Yes, so there is a thorough discussion on the joint public hearing. So none of us are aware of that. No, I haven't. No. Well, they 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 talked. I spoke to Ryan about it. But I haven't spoke. I haven't had a chance to speak to the ZBA attorney. To be completely honest. I mean, I'm fine with you bringing it before them at the meeting. Thank you. I don't think this board would have any problem if you get to a point where out of meetings are stopped because of this. Moving forward, the condition down is many final version of the meeting. Or just leave it and pull it. Yeah, that's fine. The VBA took a vote, right? Yes. We're in favor of certain things. We actually had approvals on a number and we had to go back and modify. Right, so the odds of them Right. They still gave a straw vote. Right. Yeah, they, they still the straw vote was unanimous. They did Correct. a straw vote. So, yes. Right. So. so I don't think we're going to have it. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I don't think we're going to I don't think we're going to come down the ball at all. Same. It's just going to go through and it's going to be all Certainly a conservative approach. All right. Well, no question about it. No question about it. All right. Any other comments? John or John? No? That's all I have. So, Stephanie, to set the public hearing, how much time in advance? So um, I, when does the, when does the Orange County Post have this their publishing work? I believe it's Wednesday. They have to have the notifications or anything in. And then um, they publish on Monday. I believe that might be, that may and be then correct. Friday is when the paper you right. think it's delivered. Have to check Wednesday on Wednesday of the week prior. No, I think it's that week, right? That week. I, I that think so. I'm not 100% sure. For that Friday. 
So you have to have everything. I think it's Wednesday for Friday. It's 25. So Wednesday the 5th, it we would need to be submitted to the post. And we need to confirm this, of course. And Friday the 7th it should be set to print. And then two weeks' notice? For 10 days. 10 days. Well, same thing, business day. Yeah. So the 21st? No, 20th. Can we still need to figure out the meeting dates? Because court now. Uh, yeah, we need to talk about the meeting dates. Meeting dates. Um, <clears throat> If we were to, I, assuming that the Orange County Post I submitted on Wednesday and it gets published that Friday, if it's published on the 7th, it should be the soonest. The 17th is the 10th um, day. So, I mean, we, obviously that's a Monday, so we wouldn't so the meeting. The meeting. Which is court, isn't it? The twentieth. Yeah, we can't meet. We we have to change our schedule because we can't. We no longer can meet most third Thursdays. You all have a a packet I put down there mm -hmm. for all the dates on there. It's in the paperwork I gave you. So then the twenty seventh. So what did, what did we decide on the oh. outside seating first? What are we doing? Are you are we taking that out? Are we we're, we're leaving it in and they're going to bring the proposed additional parking spaces? So they're asking for, they're revising that variance? Correct. We're going to okay. either that or we'll, yeah, we'll discuss We're going to revise the variance. We will have a public hearing. Right. Okay. So it wouldn't be the 20th, 27th would be our next meeting? Or that, of that month. Uh, well, it depends on... What we want, what the board wants to do with regards to changing schedules. Yeah, that's yeah. That, we, that we were told we cannot do. Yes, because they have some of these issues. Parking ticket be a lot to do that. Yeah, exactly. Um, okay. Um, okay. Go to the I have I I have to speak to Liz Cassidy. Yeah, because nobody from She's that board has communicated with anybody from this board that that's a thing. <laughs> and it's up to the board. Like, if you want, I don't know. Are you interested in holding a joint public hearing with with the ZBA? Because no, are you are you interested in pursuing a joint meeting with the ZBA? Just because obviously you're looking at very different you're looking at different things. So your considerations at a public hearing are different than their considerations with the variance public hearings. So I'm not sure if you're interested in sitting there listening to what people might have to say about the variances, or if you don't, you know what I mean. I'm not. I'm just saying it's not, very, it's not their good. determination. Before hmm? we vote from the ZBA. I'm sorry, I can't hear. So we need their determination first? No, they need ours. They need our secret determination. Does anybody have any I have no objection. I have no objection. I have no objection. Okay, it would have to be a special meeting and notice that way. Do we have to make a motion to approve the joint meeting? Well, hold on. I want, can we, what What day are we doing? Because we need to figure out what day we're doing. What is this? Yeah. Is there a zoning board plan, plan that this was set for? I think they only meet once a month, so their meeting is May well, they, 6th. Which is too soon. Okay. Check, all right. Okay. Look at how I've written it down at the bottom there. I put all the schedules for everybody there. This is the planning board. Though. Well, no, I know, but it gives you the which, which, which dates, board which board meets when. Where? But you, I don't have a calendar there, too. Uh, I don't have that sheet. It's, the, uh, it's on the bottom where your fingers are, right there. Oh, you mean, oh, okay. It tells you what dates that, that they meet. Do so you want to know the zoning board? Yes. First and third Thursdays at 7. I thought I put that down there. Yeah. If, yeah. So if we can meet. I don't see it. I don't have it in my package. So if you can have your meeting first at 27. First and third. Yeah. First and third. Thursday? Correct. At 7 o'clock. For the zoning board. For the they're zoning the opposite Thursdays. And they're not affected by the court schedule. Okay. They mean the 6th and 5th? They're on the 3rd Thursday. Are they? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Ye
but our fourth Thursday is important. So we have to change the first and third. We can change all of our fourth. I'm just talking about for this public hearing. Yeah. But yes. So they meet the sixth and the twentieth? That was the evening is the third Thursday. Yeah. So well we could meet on their meeting time on the twentieth, because that's sooner to the ten days. Is that the court right now? No. Oh. They have the We're talking about meeting on the ZBA night. Yeah, that right. makes sense. They meet on Wednesday? Right. No, Thursday. No, Thursday. The first May 20th? 20th. I thought we did on opposite Thursday. Can I ask you a question? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. That was counting house. Yeah. I don't have my phone with me. So, getting the paper to the post, getting the notice to the post on the fifth. They published on the seventh. Well, to, but if the ZBA would also have to agree to hold a joint public hearing, and they're not meeting until the sixth, so we can't get paper into the paper by the seventh. So that would slow things down. But I think until if we look at the record, they've already agreed to it. They told us that that's what they planned on doing. Yeah. Right, but typically you need a motion to set up a public hearing. But, okay. They, they and I don't want to speak, to, you know what I mean? That's yeah. not my board. Well, and I don't want to speak to how they I mean, not that tonight, is. but can we assume that that's the case and talk to them and verify? Because that's real clearly what they said. Can this board? Make a motion to have a public hearing, or is that we did that? For our yeah, it's not a joint. Okay. I think not to me. Yeah. Can we make a motion we'll to have a hearing? Can we make a motion to have a hearing? Can we make a motion to have a hearing? That they refuse, they refuse? It's not about them refusing, it's the fact that they literally cannot meet and, and before, before I draft the notice to get it out to the paper, oh. there's no authority from the ZBA to issue a, a notice for a joint public hearing. Yeah. So it's really not... But I think... I think they maybe made that on the record. I don't know if there's a tape or minutes of the meeting that are available that we can see that. But they, 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 they told say. us that. I don't know what, what if they we just to pushed do. it back one week to give them time to meet on the sixth, schedule for the twenty seventh, mm -hmm. so that they twenty seventh is a court that's, night. That's court. Oh, but I am also available that Wednesday night. Okay. Um, that Tuesday night. You know what I mean? So we can, right. if we're interested, in, it's already going to be a special meeting. Right. Um, if we're interested in making it a joint, you know what I mean, we could try to set the date. The only thing is that we don't know if the Z, all the ZBA members are available that time. So, look, that's, and I think that's probably why most municipalities don't do the joint meetings, because right. that's really, that's a lot to schedule. Um, but again, it, it's, up, it's up to you guys what you want to do. Um, I mean, it doesn't and, really seem like we have much of a choice without knowing what happened at their meeting. Not that we don't believe you, but we don't yeah. have 